Okay everybody, it's Dave Mattis with one of my local business spotlights and we're here today at uh, Western Berks Community Landfill and Advanced Disposal with none other than Tim Stover and he's going to tell us a little bit about his uh, production here at the Western Berks Community Landfill. Hey, yeah, we're here. You can see a, a roll-off container because coming off here right now, he just got weighed out, weighed out. They, this is the scale house here at Western Berks. The trucks come in here the opposite way then, go up on this scale. You can see the, the Geiger counters there. That's for radioactive. We check to make sure there's no radioactive material going wow. into the landfill. Okay. And then you can they go on there and then on the other side there you can see it shows their weigh, their weight oh, there and that is, yep. stuff. Okay. Over there what they weighed in. They weigh in and weigh out. So they come in, they weigh in, go up to the landfill, which you, you'll, you'll see and you'll see how they, they dump the trash. Once it's empty, they come back and then they scale out here at the Western Berks landfill. Okay, so you have, so the businesses you have here, two businesses. Yep, uh, two uh, businesses. So tell me tell Advanced me the Disposal business. owns Western Berks Community Landfill and then okay. the hauling division's out of here. All, okay. the tr all the rear load, front load, and roll off trucks come out of here every, every morning at five o'clock in the morning and they go pick up the trash. So when people see the gray dumpsters and cans, yes. as you call them, yep. that's, that's your company as well? That's the company. Okay, and then of course you have the landfill. So how many acres is the landfill? Uh, Laker, here's 120 acres 120 here. 120 acres, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, yep. it's a really nice spot actually. Yeah. And uh, how many employees does it take to do all, all With of this? With the hauling division, there's 12, and the, and the landfill, there's 10. We have 22 employee here is on site. Okay. Very we have good. a full-time mechanic and uh, Troy Wink, who's out and about right now, he's a site supervisor. He runs the landfill on a daily basis. Okay, and this is your mechanic shop? Yep, we all keep right. all our equipment in here at night. And then uh, hours that people can, can bring stuff here? Or Seven in the morning till four in the afternoon. Okay, and then as far as reaching you to get dumpster service or trash service? And he, you can call me 484-955-0440, 24-7. And I can get a dumpster out there for you. Be it a, a front load can, roll off can, any size. No job is too big and no job is too small. Very good. Your trash is my cash, Tim. Yeah, you Come got on. it. Your trash <laughs> is my cash. <laughs> All right, thanks. Well, we're going to take a look at a whole bunch of other aspects of the landfill, and it's great to be with you today at Advanced Disposal. Thanks for having sure. Thanks for coming out no, today. My, my pleasure. Yeah. And we're here at Western Berks Landfill. We have a wastewater treatment plant. All the leachage water that's accumulated at the landfill that you just seen where we dump. All is captured underground and then pumped over here. And then we pump it back into the Schuylkill River. It's fresh drinking water. So that, it's a regular wastewater treatment plant, just like a sewage plant. All the leachage that comes off the landfill from all the rain and stuff will be treated here and go back into the Schuylkill River. Oh, very you know, we can, uh, we can produce a 300,000 gallons just over one weekend, especially when it rains. No kidding. Most people wouldn't know that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Tim. So tell us where we are now. Now we're at, at physically at an active cell. This is where all your trash comes from, from your municipal waste from the city of Reading, the city school, the school district of Reading. Okay. Also big customers of mine, Sweet Street, Sun Sweet, um, uh, Fleetwood Industries. This is where it's all dumped. You can see right now a compactor is being dumped on the left-hand side there. Right in front of that compactor is called a compactor, which is, is actually running over top of the trash. Once it's dumped, he pulls it back and he runs over it. Once he runs over it with those knobby tires on there, yeah. he's completely crushing, compacting it in. Less air space to keep on, you know, uh, pounding it into the ground. Gotcha. But right there, they just emptied a whole compactor. Gotcha. He'll pull that back and run over it and just keep on packing it down. So whose trash is going in here now exactly? All municipal. municipal. Uh, anything from Berks County. There's okay. nothing out of out of county right now. Everything is the county right there. And, and Tim, how many years till this cell is complete? This cell, this this cell right here, this whole area right in here, we have another lifespan of another 10 years. Okay. This can be another cell will go right across from this. This cell will have will have another. Uh, two years we'll be able to dump right here at this site then we'll move over here to the left side gotcha. side Very interesting. there's a bridge to go over there's a pennsylvania state police looking for the drivers coming over the <laughs> over the over thing but what happens every a landfill after at four four o'clock today yeah when we close the landfill every landfill must be covered in two inches of dirt at the end of the day so this will be completely covered over with dirt at at four o'clock once the landfill closes 
And then you can see that compactor, he's moving out there right now. And they'll go over it with a machine and pack it down. Okay, thank you, Tim. Okay. We're here at Western Burke's landfill. We're actually on top of a, a cell that's been capped. You can see the gas wells behind me and that's so we're capturing the methane gas. All the methane gas right now is burned off and that stuff. In 2017, we're going to be turning it into electricity and giving it back to Alvernia, Alvernia College. You can see Alvernia College is right across the landfill there at that red building across the way. Gotcha. You can see right behind me is Fritz's Island. That's the city of Reading sewage plant. Okay, in case you ever wondered. Yep. And <laughs> this, this here is a, a cap cell and now DEP is allowing landfill. It's a shame not today. You, you, you'll find 300 deer running across this field here, right? Oh, really? You know, sometime in the course of today, they'll be coming out, going through here and looking for food. So tell so. me, real quick, tell me, uh, uh, like a, we're on top of a cell, like how many years or, so, you know, weeks? The cell that we're on here is from the 70s, oh, okay. 1970. Okay. And that stuff, there's a lot of uh, battery casings in this cell here from all the battery manufacturers over the years. They would dump up here in the 70s, but where everything is uh, capped, everything's monitored to make sure there's no leachage going into the Schuylkill River, gotcha. which there's not. Gotcha. And it's just an old cell that, you know, can be, we can take the, uh, extend the wells now and put another cell. We're waiting for approval. Gotcha. All and right. The next place I want to stop off is show you our, our Revolutionary War 1700 uh, cemetery. Very good. So we're at advanced disposal and the Western Berks Community Landfill and uh, we're going to take uh, a look around at a couple more uh, features. Thanks. We're here at uh, uh, Western Burke's Landfill. We have a uh, 1700 Revolutionary Cemetery where we have a general buried here and a lot of loved ones from the city that were in the Revolutionary War and Civil War wow. that are buried here in, in this cemetery. We redid the, the brick walls and surrounded it and that stuff because this cannot be touched. Even though we're building cells around it, this will never be touched. Loved ones come into the, the scale house, sign in, they can come up and visit their loved ones that are in here. And this is dated, dated back to 1700s. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. So you, so you uh, had to preserve this and, and, mm -hmm. and you guys have decided to, to really keep it in good repair. Keep in good repair. That's fantastic. And we're all, always concerned about, you know, grave robbers coming up here and that stuff because there's a lot of history over in this. There, and we still have people come in and sign in and uh, pay respect to their loved ones yeah, here. Very, very interesting. So you mentioned something about uh, burning the methane, capturing yeah. the methane from the yep. uh, from the cells. So That's what that is here. Right now you can see there, you can see the heat coming out of the top there. We right now, which is a shame, we burn off all the methane, and now the the landfill has grown grown tremendously, and now we have enough methane to capture, and we can start producing electric. 2017, we'll be producing electricity and giving it back to Alvernia, Alvernia University. Okay, yeah, fantastic. So so you guys are consider yourselves environmentally friendly and, oh, and very, very conscious. Definitely. And, yeah, and definitely, I know, I know yeah. recycling is a huge uh, part of your, your business yeah, as well. Very okay. much so. It's definitely, we, we, we want to keep as much out of the landfill. We, you know, we own a huge recycler up in Dubois. We take everything since it's close to, to Kugels up in uh, Hamburg and that stuff. But the whole idea is to keep as much out of the landfill in going recycling instead of putting it in the landfill. Makes sense to me. All right, so we're with uh, Tim Stover from Advanced Disposal and again at the Western Berks Community Landfill.